Hi, my name is Sipika and in this video, I am going to show you how you can manually deploy NPM application on WebLogic. First, we will go you through the introduction of post install and then the steps needed for the manual deployment of MDM. Post install setup is executed during MDM installation. At the end of installation, it asks whether you want to run the post install now or you want to run it later. You can choose to run it later. The purpose of post install is to deploy and configure the MDM hub server on the application server. Your application server can be WebLogic, JBoss or WebSphere. You can also do the manual deployment of MDM on the application server without running post install. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how, what are the steps needed and how you are going to perform the step in order to manually deploy MDM without running post install. It is also required sometimes your post install script fails or sometime in case of cluster, we recommend to do the manual deployment. So this video will help you to understand how you can manually deploy MDM application. Prerequisite to perform the manual deployment on the web logic is you should have the MDM installation completed without any error on the server. So these are the various steps needed in order to create the, in order to deploy the MDM. Like you need to create the JMS server, name Siberian JMS server, JMS module, Cyber module, sub deployment, connection factory, data sources, and then you need to deploy the PR files. At last, you need to restart the application server in order for these changes to take effect. Let's now start the demo in which I will show you each and every step how you can perform. You need to first log into the admin console, WebLogic admin console in order to perform the deployment. First, we will create the data source. For that, just go to the services data source, click on new, generate data source. You can give any name, but you have to give the end name as the one you are seeing on the screen. And their name should be same, otherwise your deployment will fail. Click on next, choose the driver, click on next. On this screen, you have to provide the database details. Make sure you use the username as a CMX, not the CMX server. CMX instruction. The password should also be CMX. Do the test configuration in order to check if the, the credentials are correct or not. Once it's successful, go to the next step. Choose the server under which you need to deploy the MDM application. Here I'm going to deploy under admin server of WebLogic. So your data source with GNDNN, JDPC, Cyber, and CMX system, minus DS has been created. Again, I'm reiterating your GNDNN should be the same as mentioned in the, as mentioned over the screen. The next step is to create the JMS server. Click on JMS server, click new, and provide the name as the Cyber and JMS server. Next, target should be the server under which you are going to deploy MDM. I have chosen the admin server as a target. The next is you need to create the JMS module. Click on new. Then in my Siberian module, click on next. The server under which you are going to deploy the application. And click on finish. We are going to add the resources to it later. So here you need to add the two resources, which is very important. One is a connection factory and one is a queue. So we, we are going to create a sub deployment for these two resources. Let's first create it for the queue. The name of the sub deployment, then choose the target. Same way, you need to create the sub deployment for the 
write the name, click on next, click for her. Set deployment will be okay. Now you need to add the resources under the AMS module. So we are going to first add the factory connection factory. Make sure the name and the GNDA name should be the one which you are seeing on the screen. Not change the GNDA name. Choose a target. Now I am going to add the queue. In this case also your name and GNDA name should be same and the one which is which you are seeing on the screen. Do not default the GNDA name. Choose a sub deployment. Now your resources has been created. The next step is you need to deploy the ER files. There are two ER files. In this demo, I will show you the one ER file. One is for clean server, one, one is for the main server. So I'm going to show you for the uh, server hub server and the, you can follow the same step for the clean server. So uh, browse to the path where your MDM is installed. In, in my demo, I have installed under the C drive or MDM location. If you have a different path, you need to browse to that path and choose the ER file. Next. May type and take time to go further as the uh, ER file is very big. Click on uh, deploy it as an application. Go further. And then finish. Click on save. Please note that ER file may take time to deploy. And you have to restart the application server, weblogic server to make sure these changes get uh, effected. Now you have to restart your logic server in order for this file to take effect. I'm going to restart it. I have restarted my application server. admin server I have deployed the ER file. So you need to verify it whether the deployment is successful or not you need to log into the hub console. I will go ahead and log into the hub console. The console is launching. My deployment is I have successfully deployed the MDM application. And refer to the MDM installation guide for more details on how you can do the deployment. Thank you very much for watching this video. We would love to hear from you. You can like to us and support video and information.